Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So there will be a new update for Battlefield 2042, which is called Update 8.3, and it's going to be the last scheduled update for 2042 in the year of 2024. So we're not going to receive any more updates in 2024, and whatever's going to happen to 2042 is going to happen in 2025. So we're going to take a look at the update. There will be some ridiculous nerfs, in my opinion, coming to Dozer, which are just not necessary, really. And they're just trying to change something that does not need changing. That's what they're doing. And it's, it's Dozer's turn this time. And they are really nerfing it to hell. There are also some changes to armor piercing rounds uh, when they're fired at Dozer's shield. We're going to take a look at that. There are also some interesting news around DICE's general manager, Rebecca. Codes. Uh, EA now has expanded her role uh, to take on leadership for Battlefield Studios in Europe. So that's interesting because she has quite the resume and we're going to take a look at that. She's also spoken about the plans for future and we're going to take a look at that as well after the update 8.3. So no more talking, let's get straight into things. So as I said, 8.3 will be a small update. It will be the last scheduled patch for this year. And it will also feature the return of the holiday protocol. Uh, and it comes with brand new rewards and a chance to grab last year's loot in case you missed it. Holiday protocol wasn't the best of events. DICE is just trying to bring back those old events to make things spicy a little bit, make things new. But in my opinion, that just doesn't work. Let's take a look at the vehicle part first. They've added a reactive hint to the HUD, the HUD, when in a falling air vehicle without a pilot to alert and encourage players to take control of the driver's seat. For example, if the pilot has just exited the vehicle or someone just killed them, there will be a HUD alert for you to let you know that the vehicle you're in is actually without a pilot. You can just go ahead and take the pilot seat and keep on rolling before the vehicle just uh, crashes down. That's not something necessary, but it's also good to have. So and they fixed the bug where damage numbers would not take vehicle armor into account, causing the numbers to show as higher than actual damage dealt. So this has really happened for myself. It really matters to me to know how I damage the vehicles, especially on vehicles and sometimes when you just hit vehicles it just doesn't register the damage you know that you've hit it but there's no damage number for it or sometimes it's just way higher than it should be apparently that's a bug they fixed now for the weapons there's only one change and they fixed an issue where swapping to the m1 grand when sprinting had a delayed animation for holding the weapon that actually happened to me it happened on my hourglass guide video in the beginning of the video when i try to sprint that actually happens it wasn't something big to deal with but uh, that's really fixed now and now let's take a look at what happened to armor piercing ammo over the years with battlefield 2042 we have consistently seen players raise concerns about dozers efficiency regarding their offensive capabilities across most of our maps those players guys they really don't know how to play against dozer like dozer right now is in a perfect shape in my opinion it does not really need any nerfing but because of some kids crying they are actually considering nerfing dozer even even more that's not good. This update introduces a slight change to armor piercing, which now allows for those rounds to pass through Dozer's ballistic shield with reduced damage. So they call that a slight change. This really doesn't matter for Dozer, in my opinion, because nobody plays armor piercing rounds. Let's be honest. So this doesn't matter really. The team continues to look at balancing around Dozer and we will further assess your feedback once this update has rolled out. However, the penguins now hope that Dozer won't be as scary the next time you run through the corridors on exposure. Dozer really isn't scary. You just need to know how to play against them effectively. It's not scary. It's not OP. It didn't really need this this change, but below you will find the changes to armor piercing ammo in connection to Dozer's ballistic shield. The damage it shows is a percentage, for example, with assault rifles, 10% bullet damage will pass through Dozer's ballistic shield if you are using armor piercing ammo. So here's what's happening. Sniper rifles deal 45% damage per bullet if they are using the armor piercing rounds. Sniper anti-material ammo, 80% damage per bullet. Railgun single shot, 25% per bullet. Railgun full auto or burst, 10% per bullet. Bullets, ARs 10%, DMRs 25%, and revolvers 25%. These numbers are only valid if you are using the armor piercing rounds, which are not really common in the player base of 2042. So armor piercing grenade launchers now will deal damage to Dozer if fired at the shield directly. That's something. Dozer's shield deploy time has been lowered by 80%. That is just literally a big nerf, guys. Like the deploy time is now 80% lower. 
that's just bullshit. And all the armor-piercing ammo from all primary weapons can now penetrate the shield and deal lower damage to Dozer. So I literally have no problem with armor-piercing rounds going through the sh Dozer's shield. So now you know what the issue is. It's not about armor-piercing because nobody uses armor-piercing rounds. It's about how they are trying to nerf Dozer and they say that they will even try to balance it out more in the future, which is, which is something they don't really need to do. In my opinion, those are on point right now. Objective airdrop is a new XP event. If a passenger leaves an air vehicle and goes into a contested objective within a certain amount of time after leaving the vehicle, the pilot gets an objective airdrop XP event. This event also gives points on the scoreboard. And also there will be a vehicle's boosted XP event. If you enter a vehicle that was previously owned by the enemy, you get an XP event. So these were all the important changes that update 8.3 will bring. Just go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about Dozer. Do you really think it's OP to the point where they are trying to actually nerf it after plus three years of existence? I don't really think so, but I want to know what you think. So that's all about update 8.3. But now let's take a look at the DICE's general manager, Rebecca Code and let's see what she has to say. So EA has expanded the role of DICE's general manager, Rebecca Kodaz, to take on leadership of Battlefield Studios Europe. She will now be focused on growing both Sweden-based DICE and UK-based Criterion, as well as helping define the future of the Battlefield franchise. Both studios will continue to operate independently under Rebecca's leadership though. Since joining DICE in 2021, I've had the pleasure of working with a hugely talented and diverse team. I'm incredibly honored to take on this expanded leadership role, divining the future of two iconic studios, each with its own unique and rich history. She also goes on saying, Quote, Dice and Criterion are pioneers in the European games industry. I hope to empower the teams to push boundaries and innovate to elevate the player experience. Together, we will harness the creativity each studio offers to develop and grow the Battlefield franchise globally with our other studios at Motive and Ripple Effect for future generations. This is an incredibly exciting time as we shape the future of Battlefield and I'm looking forward to welcoming passionate individuals ready to be part of this journey. So here's also a picture of Rebecca Codes. There are some words here that people actually mentioned in the comment section of X. And one of those words is actually uh, the diverse team she's speaking about and the word empower. Every single time I hear the word empower, it just freaks me out for obvious reasons. If you know it, you know it. I don't really want to mention things here that should not be mentioned. If you, if you know, you know. But I hope this empowerment of Battlefield franchise will work this time because the last time they wanted to do this, it was in 2021 with Kotaz being on board and it didn't really end well. It ended in 2042 and here we are after three years looking for a straight up good Battlefield game, a decent Battlefield game. And we've been deprived for that for like five years. So I hope she knows what she's doing. I also did some research to see the history of Rebecca Codes and the things she's done for gaming industry. And I've seen some interesting games in that list. We've got Tom Clancy's The Division 2. We've got Steep, uh, Tom Clancy's The Division, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Assassin's Creed Unity, Assassin's Creed IB Black Flag, Assassin's Creed 3. So there are so many Assassin's Creed's there. Uh, Driver San Francisco as well. She's worked on some other games like Alone in the Dark, for example. So the list of games that she's worked on uh, is quite a lot. It's like 57 credits on 39 games. So she's got the experience, but I don't know her approach. I don't know if that approach can be right. I don't really know what she's trying to do. We don't really know her, but we do know for a fact that EA is actually trying to get any help they can for this new Battlefield game because they know how important it is. So that was the news roundup for Battlefield this week. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. Do make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about Rebecca Cotez and about Advent 8.3. Let me know if you like the dozer being nerfed even more because as long as I'm concerned, they are actually giving signals that maybe even more nerfs are coming in the future, which I don't think are necessary. I'm actually starting to believe that they are trying to change something that doesn't need a change. And they are trying to convey the feeling of they are doing some changes to 2042 and keeping it alive while they're not actually doing anything. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, stay cool.